going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another Oil Food Basics video blog. My name is Derek Craig and today we're going to be continuing about the topic of blowout preventers. And we've already filmed two videos on this, so be sure to check them. I'll have them boxed here on the screen or something, you can check them out. But we've already covered the basic definition and functions of a BOP and we've also covered the parts and important notes of, about BOPs. So this is a continuation into the different types of valves that are found on the BOP stack. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. And before we jump into this topic, I just want to remind you guys to check out our courses at oilfoodbasics.com slash learn. And also be sure to follow us across our social media. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, share it with a friend. Also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. All right, so diving on in, we're going to talk about the five main types of valves that you can find on a BOP stack. So starting off, first one's going to be annular. And then in the RAM category, you're going to have pipe rams, blind rams, shear rams and blind shear rams and we're going to talk about these in the upcoming slides but make sure that you realize that these are basically all just different ways of sealing the wellbore and which one you use is going to depend on what's in the hole how much pressure you're going to potentially be fighting against and also what you've already tried or actuated so we're going to talk about these different types of valves on the next slide all right so now let's first discuss annular BOPs. So an annular BOP is actually going to be placed typically on top of all of the other BOPs. Typically it's at a lower pressure rating and that's one of the reasons that it's placed on top. And also note that it actually works by creating a donut-like seal around any type of pipe or size of pipe in the hole. It can also even close supposedly on an open hole, but once you do that it will actually need replaced. Also note that you can actually vary the amount of pressure that you are applying to create the seal. And this actually allows drillers to be able to snub. So typically these annular BOPs are not designed for ongoing snubbing operations or to use it very often, but it can be used for limited times. And of course, once you snub, you're gonna to have to probably replace them. But just all things to keep in mind that you have a lot of capabilities with an annular BOP. Also, again, it's typically rated lower than all of the other ones, and typically you're gonna find them for it to be about rated at 5,000 PSI for an onshore application. All right, so next up is going to be RAMs. So the first thing to note with RAMs is that these are commonly going to be rated to about 10K for onshore applications. And the first type of RAM we wanna look at is what we call a blind RAM. So a blind RAM is going to be pictured here in A, and again, this is off Wikipedia, they've got a, a great image here that shows the different types of rams. The first one is, is A here, and this is going to be a blind ram. So a blind ram is actually going to seal across an empty wellbore. So two rubber elements basically coming together to completely seal off the hole. There's nothing in it, there's no pipe going into the hole. So that is the first type. Second type is going to be what we call pipe rams. And pipe rams are actually going to seal the annulus around the drill pipe or whatever be the case, similar to an annular, but the difference is that it's for a specific pipe size. So an annular can close around any type of size pipe, but the pipe rams are going, to have, are going to be set to a very particular diameter of pipe. So this is why sometimes you'll have multiple pipe rams on a BOP stack because you're going to have multiple different sizes of pipes that you're working with. You might have one for drill collars, you might have one for general drill pipe. So that's why you might have some redundancies there. And again, that's just sealing around the annulus of whatever pipe is in the hole. All right, so the next one is going to be what we call shear rams. Now shear rams are actually designed to cut through the pipe or whatever is in the hole. And this is exhibited here in C, it's literally two blades being pushed together and it's actually going to sever it. Sometimes it's kind of like two V's coming together and it's gonna actually cut the pipe, whatever method, however it works, but basically it's going to be cutting the pipe. Now a spin off of that is basically what we call a blind shear ram, where it's not only going to cut the pipe, but it will also create a seal. So shear rams alone don't actually create a seal, they just cut the pipe, whereas a blind shear ram is actually going to cut the pipe and seal the well. So now let's look at a quick application of a, a typical land rig that you would find here drilling in the shale plays in the United States. You're going to have an annular BOP on top, and it's going to be rated about 5,000 PSI. Then below that, you're going to have blind rams and pipe rams, or just one, one of each. And you're probably the pipe ram you're going to be using is your, uh, is your size of your drill pipe. Below that is going to be a flow cross, and this is again where you're going to be able to manage a kick if you have it. So if, you've, if you're taking a kick, you always are gonna start with your annular in most cases. And so this gives you a way to actually bleed off the well at a controlled rate through a choke manifold, or also to, to actually pump into the well through the kill line. Below that 
is another pipe ram. So again, just know that the operators and the contractors who are at work are going to select the BOP stack and the series of valves that most suits their applications and also uh, their safety protocols. All right, so thanks again for watching another Oilfield Basics video blog. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.